Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, it seems like you enjoyed yesterday's video with the camera and the non-scripted stuff. So we're gonna try that again today, but different topic. We just got the trailer for the new mid-season event that will start next Tuesday in Battlefield 2042 and is called Crimson Front. If you haven't seen the trailer yet and you want the raw and non-commented version of it, link is in the description below. So. The event is called Crimson Front, I said that already. Um, it starts next Tuesday on April 16th and will run for three weeks until April 30th. And then on April 30th, we will get the reworked stadium map. So they really, really try to keep us engaged here. And the mode that is coming with the event is a fan favorite and one that Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 players might remember. It's called Frontlines. If you haven't played it yet, Frontlines is a linear mode where both teams start fighting for one objective in the middle of the map and like it's shown in the trailer here basically and once this objective is captured by one of the teams the other team is being pushed back and then they fight for another single objective. When the team that got pushed back gets a foothold here and captures the objective, the whole thing moves back to the middle. And this can go back and forth for a while until either the time runs out or one team is pushed back to their HQ. If they are pushed back to the HQ, they have two MCOMs there and then they need to defend them. The attacking team has to arm them, so it's similar to Rush at this point. If the defense is successful, they move forward to the last sector with an objective again, but if they fail to defend the MCOMs, the match is over and the dominating team wins. In Battlefield 1 and 5, the mode was a lot of fun to play and especially in Battlefield 1, it was one of my favorites. How it plays in 2042? <laughs> we will see. I can remember that it was a similar mode quite some time ago already, it was called, I think it was Tipping Point, but it didn't play quite well, at least not compared to the Frontlines mode in Battlefield 1, and it didn't really grab me. So, remains to be seen how this Frontlines mode is, I hope they did some tweaks. However, it will be a 20 versus 20 mode, so fairly small, and the event mode will be playable on the new map Haven on Reclaimed, on Discarded and on Redacted. I can't tell you if it will be infantry only or if it will be combined arms, so with vehicles, but on Haven and on Redacted it will for sure be infantry only. On the other two maps, I don't know, we will see. There is nothing written in the blog post that we got alongside the trailer. However, what we can see in the blog post are the cosmetics that we can expect and um, let me just quickly go through it, okay, <laughs> before before I start my monologue. Um, so there will be earnable cosmetics as usual that you can unlock by playing the event mode and earn ribbons. And with ribbons you will then unlock the cosmetics. We know this is the same like it was in former events. However, the earnable cosmetics are not much this time. So that's my gripe with this already with this event. So the only earnable cosmetics, at least according to the blog post, are an epic weapon charm, an epic weapon skin for the DXR, an epic specialist set for Boris and a player card tech. So that's four rewards that you can unlock over three weeks. And I'm actually still hoping this is a joke or there's more to unlock, maybe like three items every week. I think that would be more justified and not just four items for three weeks. That's really, really a bit too thin. However, what's still similar to the last events is that all of these earnable cosmetics are also part of the event bundles that come to the item store. So when you don't have time to earn the cosmetics, you can buy them or when you earn the cosmetics, the bundles in the store get a little bit cheaper. Still, it comes with this drop of bitterness again, cause on the other side of four rewards that we can earn, there are three bundles that you can buy. So it's quite out of balance again, at least from my understanding and, and from my point of view, to be honest. However, 
I will go through these event bundles as well, of course. So there's the red hand bundle you can see in the trailer as well. It comes for 1,750 coins and includes a legendary specialist set for Angel, a legendary weapon skin for the new AK-5C, a weapon charm and a player card. The second bundle is called Stranglehold. Uh, probably butchered the name here again, sorry about that. It costs 1000 coins, includes a specialist set for Sundance, a weapon skin for the GOL Sniper Magnum, which comes as a bit of a surprise to be honest, because I can't remember that they ever added a skin for one of the vault weapons, except for those universal skins of course. And it also has a weapon charm and a player card, and the epic skin for the DXR that you can unlock as an earnable reward. And then there's the Blood Pact bundle, also for one 1000 coins that comes with a specialist set for Boris that you can also unlock by earning ribbons, a weapon skin for the SFAR, a vehicle skin for the EMKV90 Tor, and a weapon charm and a player card as well. In addition to this, there will also be a Crimson Front bundle that includes all of these event cosmetics but comes at a price of 3500 coins, which is quite a lot. All of these cosmetics are kept in this red black color mix. I think it looks pretty good. But depends on your personal preference i guess but again i feel like that's a lot in the store that you can purchase for money as opposed to only four items that you can simply unlock by playing so i feel like they lost the balance a bit here however in addition to the trailer and the blog post with the details we also got a new archangel report that extends the lore of the season a little bit more I don't want to read through it because I know a lot of people are not really interested in the lore, so I just sum it up for you. So it's a conversation between Blackburn and an unknown person, and Blackburn is supposedly Henry Blackburn, the protagonist of the Battlefield 3 campaign. If you should have not played the Battlefield 3 campaign, I can recommend to watch the video that should be shown over my forehead now, because that's where I basically made like a cinematic thing out of all of the cutscenes of Battlefield 3. So just so you know who Henry Blackburn is. However, in 2042 he seems to be the founder and leader of Archangel and Blackburn talks about a battalion of the TPC, the Thousand Petals Coalition, that is deploying regiments to battlefields all across the globe. One of those is in Namaka land, which is in South Africa, and if you have played Season 4, you might remember that the map Flashpoint is located there as well, so I'm a bit surprised that it's not part of the event. Then he says that they start Operation Crimson Front, which is the name of our event, that is purely about pushing the front lines. So our game mode is kind of leaked here as well. Later on they talk about a site in the Persian Gulf, but I don't know what that actually means, because that's where the whole report ends. And I thought this might mean that we will see either Hourglass or Noshaw Canals as event maps, but that's apparently not the case and might not happen. I'm not sure they will switch up the maps throughout these three weeks, but from what we know right now, it might only be the four maps that we got as info today. If things will change up, I will of course keep you updated every Tuesday with a news video, so keep your eyes peeled for that as usual. And if you want to read through all of this yourself, through the event details and also through the Archangel report, you can of course find the links to them in the description below. Tomorrow I'll be back with a video about the patch notes for update 7.1 that will also drop next Tuesday and these will include several tweaks and fixes to the new visual recall system. So might be some longer patch notes, let's see. Keep an eye on the channel for tomorrow. And that was it for today. Fairly small as usual when it comes to these events or fairly short, not small, but short. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks a lot to my members for the additional support. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm the Catwoman and you're awesome. Bye bye. <laughs>